start the, the program. Um, so thank you everyone for coming. We're going to start with uh, reading from the Gita, uh, and then we will, we will go into the, the presentation.
भूटस्थोक्षरमुच्यते उत्तम पुषस्वन्या परमात्मेदारुता यो लोकत्रयमाश्य विभर्तव्यवीश्वर यस्माक्षरम अतिहम अक्षरापिचोत्तम अतस्म लोके वेदे चो प्रथित पुषोत्तम यो मेवमस्मूढ़ो जानाति पुषोत्तम पुषोत्तम स सर्व विभजति महामुहतम शास्त्र मयानकुद्वा बुद्धिम हरिओं तत्सदीमद्भगवीताषत्सु ब्रह्म विद्यायागशास्त्रे श्रीकृष्णाजुन संवाद पुषोत्तम योग नाम पंचदश So, as you will see, this the, the, the venue here, uh, where have everybody's having lunch. This is not your typical memorial service, uh, and that is intentional. We decided that, as as was mentioned, Dada had an opportunity to see four generations. Um, he had a fantastic life. He had an opportunity to do a number of different things. So, as grandchildren, the third generation. We got together and said, let's go through some old pictures and really learn about his life. And some of these pieces we had heard uh, at various points, but really took an interest in seeing he has lived through 10 decades. He was born in 1915. Uh, as you know, he passed away recently, but he had an opportunity to live through 10 decades, and that's something that we should be celebrating. And so we put together what we call celebrating life, um, and this is Dada's story. So with that, I'll play it on so I'm the oldest granddaughter, so I have the uh, privilege of, of going first, I guess. Um, and Dada's, the Dada that I knew, he wasn't, um, he wasn't a fundamentalist religious guy. But in the last few years, you know, even in his dementia, he would come back and recite Sanskrit prayers. And so thank you, Dr. Pathak, for bringing that for bringing that opening to us, because I do think there's some comfort in that in that sort of base, and I really appreciate that. So, <laughs> um, so I'm being directed by modern technology. Um, so we have a lot to cover, as Alok had said. Um, we're going to try and gloss over this, but there's a there's a lot of material in a hundred years, as you can imagine. Um, when I looked through these pictures, one thing that struck me about Dada is he lived through a great revolution, and that is fashion. These glasses that you see him wear <laughs> are now very much in fashion. <laughs> he is truly the epitome of, uh, of retro, right? Um, the other thing that struck me is that he saw the fall of the British Empire and the rise of globalization as we know it now. He was around, as you'll see, when the, when the first flight took off, airplanes and that industry, and also managed to have an email account. You know, Even in my life with, with a look, we used to write on aerograms the long blue sheets that some people may not remember and fold them up and throw them across the ocean in hopes that some big ship would get them there within that season. And even in his last days, um, you know, he didn't hear very well, but he was able to participate on Skype with my mom. So this guy is kind of cool, um, and we're, we're really excited to celebrate his life. So I'm just going to go through, eh, 30 years um, with you guys of his life. We'll start when um, the decade in which he was born. So 1910, the beginning of all of this, we saw World War I. Um, in, in the States, at least, we went through Woodrow Wilson and Taft. Their administrations were, were part of this decade. Um, the Panama Canal opened. The Freedom Fighter movement um, was beginning. It took place. Theok was a, a, a strong member of all of that. And milk was at 32 cents a gallon. Lots has changed. And in the middle of all of this, Dada came out, right? Dada was born. He was born in 1915 in, in Wasi, India. Uh, and he, Dang it! <laughs> the place that is on my list to visit now. Wasay <laughs> India. Dang it! Well, you guys did this part. Um, 
This is his mom. So she had her first daughter when she was 14 years old. Dada was the fifth child of eight. So this woman, um, I think, probably had a lot to do with his character, his love, his compassion, and probably his appetite. <laughs> this is a picture of all of his siblings. Um, do you guys know when this was? About what year? 1995, you see. And so this is my uncle, my great uncle, who lives in Nashville, and he's the last of this group that's still left with us. It's kind of neat, right? So 1920, that is like five years old, right? Prohibition. Anybody who knew that in his later life, <laughs> scotch. <laughs> Once again, we come full circle. Um, the advent of radio and TV. India was, was struck with the plague, the Black Plague in India. And uh, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Mohandas Gandhi, was beginning his, um, his, his uh, fight for independence. Also, we had the Wright brothers, uh, or sorry, the Lindbergh first flight across the Atlantic. Uh, that was smart, you know, kind of like Albert Einstein. <laughs> and athletic, maybe like Michael Jordan, you never know. Uh, he was actually the valid, he stood first in his class. He was effectively the valedictorian of his high school class. Um, and he was a runner, and many of us remember him in Atlanta for his taking long walks. He used to walk from my parents' house to my uncle's house and just would love being outside and being physical. Wham was very important to that, that he would do this to me a lot. <laughs> and you know, like I said, he was a valedictorian of this class, so he, uh, he won a lot, some rewards for all of this that allowed him to go to college. So Dada went to St. Xavier College, and he, he went in for science. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, he had to leave after his first year. His dad, who was, um, who was a lawyer, uh, was struck with epilepsy. So he, he had a year of college and then had to leave, which brings us to the 30s. So 1930s, that is in his late teens. And uh, we have the salt march happening, march happening in India. The US is plunging through its Great Depression. The Empire State Building was erected. And two of my favorite movies in America, Gone with the Wind and um, The Wizard of Oz came out. So Dada had to leave school after his first year and he went